and hello. Best not to say and at the beginning of a sentence. Anyway, this is the Saturday wrap, the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 13th of March 2021 into spring with a lot of weather. If you haven't seen this before, it's me rabbiting on about beer and tech and politics with a small p and various other things. And to start straight away with an apology, last week I said there would be an app of the week and that's all you should because I skipped over it. I'm going to try and get it back in this week, he says, hopefully. Um, the word or phrase of the week, and I struggled with this one. Oh yeah, shaved my head last night. I'll come back to that one later, if I can remember. Um, the app, the app. Idiot. Um, the word or phrase of the week is either jab or letter. Or letter about a jab. You can probably guess that I've had a letter. Uh, next week, um, I'm going over to Sunny Newbridge uh, for a jab. I suspect AstraZeneca. I don't mind. I probably like both of them, one on each side, but who knows. Anyway, um, so the word of the week, uh, the phrase of the week is letter about a jab. How about that for getting them both together? Uh, the app of the week, a little bit specialized, uh, only runs on iOS or tvOS. Do you have a Plex server? Do you have an Apple TV? Do you have an iPhone, iPad, etc.? Don't use the Plex app. Use Infuse. It's excellent. For those of you who don't know, it's a video player designed to, well, actually, it decodes itself, de designed to take your video that you store on your Plex server. Mine is on my Synology, but you can have a Plex server practically anywhere, including a Raspberry Pi, and then play it back. The advantage it gives you is, especially if you've got an Apple TV, it does the decoding, um, and not your NAS or such like, um, which if it's a bit iffy on the power front, um, does good things for you. You can also, if you have it on an iPad, download phones and videos and such like directly to it which is handy. Um, you can buy it for life, which is about 50 quid. I subscribe to it. The technical term there is rent um, for about nine quid a year. And it's due to be renewed any time now. Always updated, quality product. I'd recommend it. That's Infuse. Anyway, so uh, this time last week, well, just after um, I was out in the back garden, it wasn't particularly warm. The wind had dropped a lot. There wasn't sunny as such, um, but it was warm enough to sit out and have some bacon cooked over bioethanol on the trangia. And later on, a burger. I really enjoyed it. Sitting out in the back garden, generating, well, even at my age, possibly a little bit of vitamin D. Should turn my phone off. Um, it was really good. And digging the garden. I had a little birthday present arrived. Yeah, I had a birthday this week. I tried to keep it quiet because I'm not keen on birthdays and all that sort of thing. I'm of an age now. Um, but yes, I went round the uh, sun once again. And that thank you to the person who sent me a birthday present. It was garden related. Um, and yes, I was digging. Haven't quite finished it yet due to the weather. Although Sunday morning, very frosty helps break up the ground, especially the stuff that I dug, which I appreciate a lot. Anyway, back to birthdays. Um, the last year, 
I was in Gloucester. Year before that, Worcester. The year before that, Hereford. I'm seeing a trend here. And I have a feeling, as soon as we can travel more, at the moment, we're in Stay Local, which in Wales can be anything. They suggest five miles. Probably they haven't got a clue. But as soon as we can travel wherever we want, I'm looking at sometime after the 12th of April in England because that's when the pubs are open, although it's basically beer gardens or car parks with chairs and such like. Um, I want to go indoors, so I might wait a little bit longer, but who knows? Anyway, um, for everyone who wished me um, birthday wishes, thank you very much. Uh, nothing to do with birthdays. Yes, I drank this last week. It's a nice beer. It's bitter. And it's really good. Anyway, um, talking of gardens, uh, garden centres in Wales are still closed, although they're opening the week after next. However, click and collect compost from B and Q. There's one in Caffili. Um It works really well. Um, although uh, it takes a while for them to go and get it. Um, but you still get guaranteed compost. So I had a 100 litres of B and Q compost for my birthday. <laughs> uh, that, the joy of it all. Um, most of it will go towards the planting of potatoes in bags, but some of it will go into miniature heroes and celebration drums and um, more spring onions, more mint, more lemon basil, etc., etc. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, the beginning of the week, frosty, midweek gales, overnight into tonight, really rather blowy. Today, I have washing on the line, and it's raining at the moment, although it has been sunny. It's still rather cold for the time of year. My feeling is March, early March, 10 degrees Celsius. I think it's 7 and 8 today and tomorrow. Yeah, um... Global warming, not really sure at the moment. Well, what can you do? Anyway, um, yeah, Thursday, got home. Lots of letters, credit card statement. Oh, the joy. And a letter from the Aniron Bevan Health Board. Now, I already knew that there was a bus going regularly from Caffili to Newbridge, which is where the mass vaccination centre is. Mine said, um, oh, Thursday, uh, end of the day, get over there. Um, tons and tons. It was mostly in Welsh. Didn't mention anything about taking paracetamol or I, uh, I can say ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Yeah, failed there. Um, well, I know people in England have had that. that you've got to take um, paracetamol for a couple of hours in advance and all that sort of stuff. And um, no, mentioned about the side effects. I've had side effects before from other vaccines, so I probably will get them. Um, Guy in work had the AstraZeneca. Uh, a couple of side effects went, um, well, he had it in the morning. And he was back in the next day. Well, he was back in about an hour after he had it. Um, back in the next day, he was fine. And he said that it was, well, it was like the start of something new. Um, you could see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's the way that I feel. I can sort of say, well, I've had the jab. Um, although I really would like to know if I've had it. Um, there was an advert, well, there are adverts, mainly on talk sport, saying that uh, a third of cases are non-symptomatic. So 33% of people have had the Rona and don't have any symptoms. They should be looking at that because we all want that. In fact, that's what the vaccine is supposed to do, protect you against it. If you get it, it doesn't matter. 
wonder why you heard nothing about that. I wonder where those figures come from. There's no source stated. Since everyone's saying, um, based on scientific evidence, I'd like to know where it's come from and have a look at it myself. You know, I am an adult. Treat me like one. Um, so, yeah, man, Mr. Drakeford, um, uh, remember Christmas? Four tiers? Well, we should be in tier one at the moment, except that he's conveniently forgotten about tiers. And as from Monday, hairdressers open with appointments. Um, I just shaved my head yesterday because it was due and my hair was out of control. Again. Uh, <laughs> um, no mention of pubs. In fact, the nearest we got was hospitality. And um, in a slightly racist way, it was, if anyone in Wales lets someone from England in, uh, we will shut you down. Apparently, English people are still in the uh, you can't travel, just stay at home sort of thing, whereas we uh, can go five miles. But that's only for the fortnight, apparently. How we can tell that, not altogether sure, um, because it shouldn't it be based on the science. Gyms are still closed, apart from Gwent Police, which are allowed to have one open. Um, the laws in this place should apply to everyone. And yesterday, um, everything was leaked. Although it was leaked that uh, non-essential shops would open, but they're not going to open now. So that leak didn't work, and they probably bought a shed load of the stock in. <sighs> There's elections in May. I have to be honest. Uh, at times like this, you do need a leader. You need someone who's up there and who encourages you. I'm sorry, Mr. Drakeford, you don't. You change your mind all the time. You're autocratic. You don't even follow your own advice. Science? Well, no, not at all. And you're a little bit of a racist. Yeah. I live in Britain. We're all in this together. We all need to work together. I'm afraid here in Wales it doesn't encourage me at all. Anyway, um getting my job. The sun's just come out. Who'd have thought? And I may if it warms up this afternoon have a burger out in the back garden. Who knows? Otherwise, back to training. Um got some more rubber ales and um yeah, in front of the iPad mini. Anyway, that's it for me. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Comments as usual. Where are they? Um, YouTube, WordPress, MeWe, uh, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for tolerating me. As we say, bye-bye.